this week. Join us as we take Rick Cruder, host of Beyond the Hunt, on a black bear hunt in Southeast British Columbia. We're trying to beat his long run of bad luck. Will he be successful? Tune in and find out. Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Burris Optics. Find what matters. CVA, it's just a better gun. Bergara, a passion for precision. Steiner Binoculars. Camo Restore, innovative wash for your outerwear. And by the new Delorme InReach SE and Explorer. Stay safe, stay in touch, stay in reach. In last week's episode, we were hunting black bear in the Purcell wilderness of British Columbia. And my good friend Rick Cruder had just missed a black bear and a perfect chance at ending a string of bad luck on black bear hunts. If you look real closely and watch this footage in slow motion, you can actually see the bullet part the bear's hair on his back just above his spine. We were within an inch or two of Rick taking his first black bear. We're 16 hours by horseback into the back country in some of the most scenic mountains in North America. And every day is an adventure. I want to get hard on myself or down at times, but I, you know, it doesn't st stick around long, especially when I feel like I really understand the game. But when you're in camp with a bunch of guys that uh, want you to succeed as, as bad as you do, you can't help but raise the camp morale and, and, and boost my spirits and, you know, really keep my head in the game. And, and so to get past that letdown and then to, to kind of get right back in the game again, it's actually, uh, very easy to do when you've got guys like that around you that really do care about the success of your hunt. And you know where that puts the cherries. We got up early this morning, come up the trail a ways from camp. There's a lot of bear activity just even within a half mile of camp in both directions. We're gonna dial it up a notch and when the evenings aren't producing, sometimes you gotta go early. But uh, Brent and Rick are just right in front of us. They're over on one side of the hill getting ready to start blasting a slide. We just glass this and we're gonna go catch up real quick. After catching up to Rick and Brent, the hunters set up to glass a big slide, hoping to catch a black bear feeding on the green grass. But after a half hour, Steve spots the one animal they didn't want to see, a grizzly bear. Knowing they won't see a black bear in the slide while the grizzly's there, they pack up and head back to the cabin for lunch and to pass the midday heat and gear up for the evening hunt. Well, we're back in the uh, same spot we were last night and this morning. We just sat down river here a ways, checking another slide this afternoon. Not much going on there. Steve went up to Doctor's Rock. He's gonna hang out up high. Uh, this uh, bear right here that we saw last night that I missed didn't seem that spooked. And uh, Brent referenced him as a dumb bear, dumb big bear. So it's about exactly what I need right now. Again, see if I can't redeem myself. Round two. Beautiful spot. We're going to sit here till dark and see if we can't get our eyes on him. 
This week, Rick is hoping to take a black bear with his PSE bow. But he's also carrying Steve's CVA Acura V2 muzzle loader, topped with a Burris Eliminator laser scope. And Steve is hunting with his Bergara custom rifle, chambered in 338 Winchester Magnum and topped with a Burris Eliminator 3 laser scope. Much better. Follow Steve's Outdoor Adventures on Facebook and Twitter and keep up with all the action, as well as find out about some great giveaways that we have throughout the year. Muzzleloaders.com, biggest selection, best prices, fast shipping. Rick was hunting with one of the other guides in another area, and Brent and I went up on one side of the valley and got up high and started glassing and we spotted this bear across the river on the other side of the valley. Well, we grabbed up our packs and we headed off the mountain, ripping through the alders. We're just tearing up our gear, tearing up our hands. We're just trying to make it down there before it gets dark, and we did, we made it. I put down my pack, I got set up in a prone position, got the bear in my sights. On the st on, he's up on the log. What is going wrong? At this point, I had to remember my own words from a day earlier, my own advice that I'd given Rick, that everybody misses. It just happens, it's a part of hunting. That is not like me. Anybody who says they've never missed either hasn't hunted very much or they're a liar. And in this case, I just flat out missed. So I sat down by the river, I collected my thoughts, and I remembered that we're there to help Rick get a bear. Yeah, I'm hunting, but we're there for Rick. And that I needed to take a positive attitude back to camp. And there's probably no better way for me to go back and get my head right than to have a great evening with one of Christie's Dutch oven cooked dinners and spend the evening with my friends, laughing it up and having some good times. And that definitely set the mood for the rest of the trip. I'm a brass whistle. No, but he, <laughs> he's full of enough hot air that he might be able to make his own. <laughs> but I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that there's things that we see on wilderness hunts, true adventure. So that's what I was telling you, you know, 
I, I talked to these guys. In fact, I, I can't remember what I was talking to about this today. I'm assuming it's true, of course, but we get guys that call us and say, oh, I want to kill a black bear. Yeah. You want to go sit over a blue bucket? Yeah. Or do you want to go live? Or do you want to go feel what it's like to wake up in the morning? When I was doing jumping jacks outside the window this morning, I was like, man, the sun's rising over the top of these snow-capped peaks. Man, I feel it. It's cold air. I feel it. You know, I can feel alive. Now, the more morning, I'm going to feel like <laughs> But. <laughs> Camo Restore. Innovative wash for your outerwear. Burris Optics and the Veracity line of rifle scopes. It's another awesome day up here. Uh, we saw a giant grizzly over in one of the slides that we were in two nights ago, chasing a big black bear. So running out of daylight, we're going to pack the horses back up and head back for camp, hunt our way back in and maybe pick up another bear on the way. back up here at Docks Rock and no bears are out just yet. So I'm gonna go about 300 yards up the trail and glass some more slides, uh, be able to see from there. Hopefully we'll find a bear. And Rick's gonna stay here with Brent. We'll be real close by. Let's do it. That's today's black bear track. Big black bear too. Oh man, it's another big grizz. What just happened? You just walked by a grizzly. I walked right by it. Well, you know what that means. Yeah, you know what that means. I'm not gonna see much for a black bear here. When you're glassing for black bears and you see a grizzly, you're not likely to see a black bear because the grizzlies kill them. So if you do happen to spot a grizzly, the best thing you can do is just pack up, head out to some new country, and hope you don't see another grizzly. As the hunters prepare for another day on the mountain, they take the time to look around and see the history written on and carved into the walls of hunting seasons past. They saw the old photos of Brent's father and his former partner, the old magazine articles and brochures, and they couldn't help but feel their spirits lifted by those who came before them, those still with us, and those long past. This is a camp where the overall experience supersedes the need to kill an animal. This group came here to get Rick his first black bear, and that remains the goal. Everyone feels the spiritual nature of this place, so deep in the wilderness, and as they prepare to head out for another day of hunting, they all can't help but feel that there's something special about this day. Well, we're gonna go way up river today. Hopefully we've exercised all of our demons. We've had plenty of missing and bad shooting. Today there's just something in there positive. Hopefully we get Rick his first bear today. We hadn't rode out of camp 30 minutes when Brent, who was in the lead, spun around on his horse and told us that there was a bear across the river. We all dismounted. Rick puts away the bow, grabs my CVA muzzleloader, and he springs into action. I stayed back about 50 yards. I decided I was gonna let Rick and Brent and the camera guys go up and do their job. I stayed back and hoped. No, I prayed that this was gonna be Rick's big moment.
This is tense. You guys ready? It's at times when you feel like everything is against you that you need to be the strongest, the most resilient. And right now, in this place, Rick has a chance to be the professional hunter that he truly is and rid himself of this burden, this black bear curse. Only he can do it. And I feel like today he is going to have his chance at redemption. Look for the new Steve's Outdoor Adventures app for your iPhone, iPad, Android, or tablet so that you can watch videos or book your next big game hunt. Muzzleloaders.com. Biggest selection, best prices, fast shipping. Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Burris Optics. Find what matters. CVA, it's just a better gun. Bergara, a passion for precision. Steiner Binoculars. Camo Restore, innovative wash for your outerwear. And by the new Delorme InReach SE and Explorer. Stay safe, stay in touch, stay in reach. If you'd like to book your own guided big game hunting adventure, give my office a call. I will personally take your calls, answer your questions, and help you book the hunting or fishing trip of a lifetime. When we went to commercial break, a bear had been spotted across the river. Rick has put down his PSE bow and is carrying Steve's CDA Acura 2 muzzleloader, topped with the Burris Eliminator laser scope. <laughs> the bear curse is over. My first black bear ever. Oh, that's freaking awesome. We were riding up into here to go up into the higher country today. Brant's leading the, the pack string. We're going to dump him off the doctor's rock. And he's like, there's a bear, there's a bear right out here in this clear cut. We jumped off, tied the horses up, slid up here. 100 yard shot, CVA. Finally, the bear curse has been shaken shook and shucked whatever you want to call it oh, it's done God. baby it's done <laughs> it's over oh, that was awesome. Woo! <laughs> beautiful bear too beautiful bear yeah man thank you so good much good job thank you brent to finally have this hunt come to an end and when i pulled the trigger I mean, all those emotions and the experiences that you've had over the, uh, over those nice. black bear hunts nice. was just running through my mind. Man, I know the first thing I, I remember is hearing Steve hollering. And, you know, Steve's one of those guys, he's got a tremendous heart. He's on your side and pulling for you. And I know when, when he saw uh, the shot take place, I mean, he was on my back and bear hugging me and we were high-fiving and I wouldn't have wanted to experience uh, that with anybody else. It was a great camp, great experience. And finally, we've got the black bear burden is behind us, and this one was truly a, a blessing. And uh, so we're here enjoying my first black bear harvest ever uh, since we've been here. We've seen grizzlies, we've seen black bears, we've seen sows with cubs, we've. Baby moose. Baby Lots of elk. Goats, mule deer, mule deer, white tails. This place is phenomenal when it comes to to wild country and lots of big game, man. <laughs> it's beautiful, and I'm gonna mount him. Obviously, I literally mount about everything I shoot, and so <laughs> this is my first. So he's a preserve the memories. He means yeah, he'll go way beyond the hunt for a long time. I hope for us. I can't thank you enough, Steve, for asking me to come out on this trip. The mission was complete. The deed was done. So we saddled up the horses and made the 16 mile ride back to the cabins at base camp. And I couldn't think of a better way to end this trip 
than with everyone sitting around the campfire listening to a private concert from the Outfitter's daughter, Kenzie Du Bois. My name is Kenzie Du Bois and I like to play you a song. My parents bought a real old house for our family. And as I listened to the music and saw the moon rising in the night sky, I reflected on the past week and secretly wondered if maybe I hadn't inherited Rick's run of bad luck because I could kind of feel it. I don't know why, but I could. And I don't think I realized how much this was going to affect me and my hunting trips until the fall season started and some really challenging times were definitely lying ahead for me. All in all, this was an amazing week of hunting. It was a tremendous adventure. We saw a lot of black bears, but more importantly, it was a great adventure. This was a black bear hunt done the same way that you would do a backcountry sheep hunt or moose hunt or elk hunt. It was a real adventure, and it's something that I hope everybody can experience at least once in their lifetime. In fact, if you'd like to book this hunt for yourself, give my office a call. I will personally take your calls, answer your questions, and help you book the adventure of a lifetime. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this week's show, but please remember to join us again next week when we bring you another exciting episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. It's not as bad as if we're seen in hate. Now it's home to me.